Taking out loans for any type of real estate puts buyers at risk for foreclosure if they cannot afford the loan payments. While you may not think of this affecting you while living in a rental property, it absolutely can. Today we'll review what happens when a rental property faces foreclosure and the tenant's rights everyone should know. Hey everyone, it's Alyssa here from Bay Property Management Group. Before we get started, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on the latest content for landlords, property managers, and tenants. So with that said, let's jump into today's video. What is rental property foreclosure? This happens when a rental property owner faces financial difficulties and fails to make mortgage payments. As a result, the lender or mortgage holder initiates foreclosure proceedings to repossess the property and recover outstanding debts. In a rental property foreclosure, the tenants living in the property are directly affected by the financial distress of the landlord. Sometimes the foreclosure process leads to a change in ownership, or it could lead to potential eviction if the property sells or the lender takes over. If you find yourself in this situation, it's important to keep an open communication line with your landlord or property management company. During foreclosure, tenants' rights and protections can vary depending on local laws and regulations. For instance, some jurisdictions have laws to protect tenants, allowing them to continue their lease even after foreclosure, or sometimes tenants have a certain notice period to find alternative housing. It can be incredibly stressful to find out that your landlord is facing eviction. However, there are certain things you can do to protect yourself as a tenant. Next, we'll review important steps to take in tenants' rights in foreclosure situations. Don't wait to take action. If you know the property is being foreclosed on, you'll want to take immediate action. Start up a conversation with your landlord and ask questions. Getting more information can help you understand the timeline and give you insight into their plans. Know your rights. Research your local laws and regulations to understand your rights as a tenant in a foreclosure situation. For instance, many jurisdictions offer protections to renters, such as allowing them to remain in the property until their lease expires or providing them with a specific notice period, typically 90 days. Follow the lease agreement. Even if your landlord is facing foreclosure, you still have to continue to follow the terms outlined in your rental agreement. This includes paying rent on time and maintaining the property as specified in the lease. Prepare to move. Although your lease might continue during the foreclosure, circumstances can change, so be prepared for the possibility that the property's ownership might transfer to a new owner or lender. While the new owner may honor your existing lease, you'll want to explore alternative housing options just in case. And lastly, get help from an attorney. If the situation becomes confusing or you're unsure about your rights as a tenant, you may want to seek advice from a real estate attorney. An attorney who specializes in tenant rights and foreclosure can help provide you with a clear understanding of your legal position, potential outcomes, and the steps you can take to protect yourself. With that said, if you or someone you know is living in a property that's facing foreclosure, here are some key points to consider. Lease continuation. In many jurisdictions, tenants have the right to stay in the rental until their lease term expires, even after foreclosure. As such, the new owner must often honor the existing lease. Proper notice. Landlords must give tenants sufficient notice if the property is facing foreclosure or they're facing potential eviction. This notice period gives tenants the time to prepare for potential changes. Federal protections. The Protecting Tenants at Foreclosure Act offers federal safeguards to tenants facing foreclosure-related evictions. In certain circumstances, it provides additional time for tenants to relocate. Rent payments. Tenants must continue paying the rent to the new owner or entity specified in the notice, even after the property is foreclosed. Security deposit. The handling of the security deposit may differ after foreclosure. The new owner may be responsible for returning the deposit or transferring it to a new lease agreement. Tenant relocation assistance. Some areas have programs or laws in place to provide financial assistance or resources to help tenants relocate if they face eviction due to foreclosure. Property inspections. Tenants have the right to privacy and despite foreclosure, landlords must adhere to that. So if any inspections are necessary at the property, they must be conducted with proper notice to the tenant. Maintenance responsibilities. Until the foreclosure process is complete, tenants are typically responsible for maintaining the property according to the lease terms. Legal representation. Tenants facing eviction or those wanting more information on their rights during foreclosure should seek legal advice to protect their interests. And most importantly, know the local laws. As we mentioned, tenants' rights in foreclosure situations vary depending on local and state laws. So it's important to carefully research and understand your area's specific rights and protections. 
The Protecting Tenants and Foreclosure Act of 2009 responded to the housing market crisis and the subsequent wave of foreclosures. It expired originally in 2014, but was officially signed into law in May 2018. The goal of the PTFA is to prevent tenants from being abruptly evicted due to their landlord's foreclosure. As such, it allows tenants to stay in their homes for a reasonable period even after the property changes ownership. Unfortunately, before the law was extended permanently, renters in most states could be evicted with just a few days' notice. Now, the PTFA allows bona fide tenants whose homes are in foreclosure to remain there for at least 90 days or for the term of their lease, whichever is longer. Bona fide tenants are those that meet the following requirements. The tenant isn't part of the landlord's immediate family. The lease or tenancy originates from an at-arm's-length transaction, meaning it's a legitimate transaction between two people who aren't friends or family members with no special terms, and rental rates align with fair market values for that area or reduced only due to a government subsidy. That said, certain circumstances are different if the foreclosed property is being purchased by someone who will occupy it. In this case, the purchaser can terminate the lease within 90 days' notice, even if the tenant has a lease that extends beyond 90 days. Living in a rental property can make housing less stressful for those that can't afford to or don't want to be homeowners. However, you still have to rely on your landlord to provide safe and habitable housing, as well as make their own monthly loan payments. If they don't, it can lead to a foreclosure, putting you in a potentially unfavorable situation. For more advice on a variety of other issues important to the rental industry, subscribe to the Bay Property Management Group channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our exclusive content. Also, head over to our website, linked in the description below, to check out our blog with new articles uploaded daily. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.